Ladies and gentlemen, there are two um, different cases that we're going to go over. First one we're going to go over is substitution, and then the second one we're going to talk about is elimination. Now, when going through this with substitution, um, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, we could solve this. Previously, what we learned how to do was solve this by graphing, where you graph each one of them, find where they intersect, and then that was your solution, right? Now we're going to learn the algebra method to do that. And the first way that we're going to learn is um, substitution. Now, when doing substitution, basically what we want to do is we want to identify a variable that has a coefficient of 1. And fortunately, in this problem that I chose, all of my variables have a coefficient of 1. Right? So this one's pretty simple. Um, however, not always is it going to be the case. Sometimes there will be like 2 here, 3 here, and like a 6 here or something. So therefore, if they had all those numbers in front, those coefficients that were not 1, then you'd want to solve for y. right? So when substitution, you want to isolate a variable. But fortunately for us, in this problem, we already have a variable that's isolated. Correct? We have x is equal to 1 plus y. So therefore, we don't have to do any more math work. We're good. But some of the problems on, your, on there, you are going to have to solve for a variable. All right? And you always want to solve for the variable that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. Now, the next step, if you guys remember, if I had f of x equals x plus 1, and I said, find the value of f of 8. What did we do with that 8? Hey, Giselle? Giselle? I'm just going to over. Sure. We plugged it in for x, right? What they said is, you are, how to evaluate this function for the value of 8. So we plugged 8 in for x. The reason why we could do that is x was equal to 8, or 8 was equal to x. We could substitute one value for the other value, correct? Does that make sense? So in the exact same case, here we have x is not equal to 8, but x is equal to the expression y plus 1. So in substitution, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to substitute in the expression of what x equals into the other equation. Does everybody see what I did? I took what x equaled, which is 1 plus y, and I plugged that in for x. Okay. Now, the reason why that's important is now we have an equation with just y. And we can solve an equation with one variable. I don't really need these parentheses. So it's 1 plus 2y equals 1. Solve for y. So I subtract 1 on both sides. 2y equals 0. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. y equals 0. So therefore, the coordinate, you know, if you're thinking about the graph, the, the point where these two intersect is at when y equals 0. Now let's figure out the x-coordinate, right? Because remember, it's a coordinate point where they intersect. So I can plug 0 in for y. So I have y or 1 plus 0 equals x. 1 equals x. That means my coordinate point is 1 comma 0. That's where these two lines, if I was to graph them, would intersect. So since they intersect at one point, this would be called an independent, consistent system. Does that make sense? Yes? Guys? What? I, 